Hi everyone, this is Kathy. Welcome to my channel, Kathy Mamelin, Psychic Medium. Welcome to a timeless collective love reading for all signs and any sign that you may be thinking of. Please use this reading to manifest a love that you are worthy and deserving of or to confirm a love that has come into your life. Welcome back, everybody. Welcome to anybody that's new. Spirit, please guide me with some loving messages today. What is it that you need me to know? What is it that you want me to hear? I am listening for you now. Let's see what we have, everybody. I have heartbreak. I'm not ready for you yet because I'm still in the process of healing from my last relationship. So I'm going to talk about timing just for a second because you may be ready for a person but your person's timeline isn't ready for you. So sometimes you are, yeah, you're waiting, but you're waiting because they are working on something else. They're working on healing. They're finishing up something else um, in their uh, path before they are ready to meet you. So keep in mind, it's not just about your path. It's about your other person's path as well. So um, sometimes we just have to, you know, understand that, this person, I want this person to heal. <laughs> I want them to be healed before I meet them. Um, travel. I want to experience the world with you. We have so much to explore. I want to travel this lifetime with you as well. I also like these gems. I want to travel this lifetime. I want to travel a lifetime together. Um, so I think that's important. Um, something coming in with that. Like I, I'm just ready to invest a lifetime with you. And let's see what else we have. I have local. You won't have to go far to find me because I already live in your area. That's always that's always a question, you know, that they're right in your area. They're right in your vicinity. You're not going to have to go far. They're not long distance. Great. And I have online dating. I'm going to meet you online when we're ready. There you go. So those are always questions that I get in my private readings for sure. How am I going to meet this person? Where is this person coming into me? Uh, so Spirit gave us a couple of clues just to start. How wonderful. Welcome back, everybody. I want to say hello to all of my new um subscribers. Thank you for joining me. I've had a lot of new subscribers over the last month. Um, and of course, thank you always to my loyal, very loyal and faithful watchers. Um, I love you guys. Uh, let's see what spirit has. We're going to meet somebody online. Okay. Uh, for those of you that are afraid of online dating, give it a chance. You never know. Maybe that's what spirit wants you to do. Break out of your comfort zone. Let's see what they have. I have key on a ring, many options, okay? We're being strung along. Yeah, you don't want somebody that um, is, you know, a serial dater. You want somebody who um, wants to be in a relationship. So we're not interested in one night stands. We're not interested in being strung along. We're not interested in somebody who's, you know, got somebody in every port, whatever that old saying is, I want to date, get back out there, meeting somebody new, setting a date, and then date online. Okay, so we've got uh, some kind of online dating. Uh, I know that some of you are going to cringe, probably, um, you know, bomb my uh, comments below, but I met my husband online dating. Um, and I'm very happy. So I know I would never have met him if I hadn't met him online dating. There's no way our paths would have crossed. We weren't in the same circles. We were in the same vicinity, um, but we would never have met. We just weren't in the same circles. We, we didn't go to the same places, no friends that connected us. Um, so we met online and maybe Spirit saying, Step out of your um, comfort zone and try something new. Uh, if this is something that you've been struggling with, that I know there's a lot of crazy out there. I know there's a lot of con artists, um, but there's also a lot of really honest people and good people that genuinely just want to meet a partner and they don't know how else to meet somebody. Um, and anybody who's really single and serious is, is doing some kind of online dating. So uh, for those of you that you know, or waiting organically, I get it. You can do both <laughs> or you just wait organically, whichever you feel comfortable with. Karmic relationship, recent um, triggers, intensity, letting go, fleeting, 
not attracting a karmic energy, of course, um, you know, wanting to attract something that's loving, uh, that's important, and, and definitely the sense of healing going on around you. The golden mirror, love bombing, one-sided. So spirit sharing with me that, yes, there's a lot of crazy in the world, that there is, you know, the wrong people out there, but not everybody is the wrong person. And that's that's up to you to be smart enough to weave through the people who aren't worthy and deserving of you and being able to say no sooner. So that's going to be up to you. But yes, absolutely. There's crazy, there's narcissistic, uh, there's users, there's love bombers, there's cheaters and liars. Um, but you have to determine, you know, that you can say no and walk away to that, that kind of energy very quickly. Um, and that's what it's really all about. I have a magician. You look at you, spread your wings. Look at that. I have a nine of wands. I have a three of cups. I have a seven of cups. Look at the choices. Three of Cups, Seven of Cups, you know, the choices are coming in to be happy. And yes, it takes a little while to get there and I'm tired and I'm sick and tired actually of, of waiting or trying. Um, but the sense of you have a lot to offer is also coming in to me. And there's a lot of people that, that are attracted to you. Um, and it is a feeling of that, you know what, there's a lot of people out there that um, you could get to know and doesn't mean you're going to spend the rest of your life with them, but you could date and get to know them. And I feel like spirit's going to be putting, you know, some choices in front of you and then you get to decide, you know, which person is best for you um, because it really does always come down to you and your free will. I have a three of wands. Look at this beautiful thinking about your future. What's best for you? Absolutely. And a four wants, I have a commitment. I have a commitment coming. So if that's something that's very important to you, if that's something that you are only going to be, you're not looking for a casual relationship, you're looking for somebody who wants a serious relationship, um, then you ask all those questions. And when they give you the wrong answer, you move on <laughs> to the next person. And you just keep planting seeds. You just keep doing the work until you find the person who wants to spend this time with you. I also like this. This feels like a wishing well to me. I feel like I want to make a wish. So you know, make a wish um, feeling in this wishing well, throw in a coin, make a wish. Um, and your wishes do come true because spirit wants you to be happy. They really do. I mean, it's it's just a matter of time that, you know, we all um, get what we want when we manifest. It just, you know, sometimes it's not on our timeline and that's the hard part to deal with. I have a justice. I, I really feel like spirit is letting you know that the person who you are going to end up with um, is going to be online dating. No, I'm just, <laughs> but I do feel like you should try. Um, but the person you're going to end up with on is is going to be a committed relationship, and it is a sense of. I'm going to try to try to do something new. Okay, step out of your comfort zone, whatever it is. You know, try something new, put yourself in new social situations, make some new friends, go go out more often, join join a health club. You know, there's a million things that you could do just to get your energy out and about um, so that if you are looking for somebody organically, you have a chance to meet somebody. So it really comes down to putting your energy into the universe. Um, Spirit, please share with me, what is it that you have for us? Because I do like this commitment. I also like this crown because this is coming into me as um, that there's almost a sense of treating you right with that crown, you know, whether they treat you like a prince or a princess and um, a king or a queen. Um, and I always like to say, if you want a king, be a queen, you know, you want to attract a, a queen, be a king. So it's it's a feeling of, you know what, I'm, ele I'm an elevated person and I'm going to attract somebody at my same um, vibration, my same elevation. Spirit, share with me, what else is it that you need me to hear today? 
uh, healing connection. Your relationship has a powerful healing energy. Allow this connection to bring peace, comfort, and transformation to your life. Healing past wounds and nurturing your soul. So something about this connection is going to help you heal some old wounds, which is beautiful. It could be the sound of, the, of their voice. It could be how they listen to you. It could be that um, you're able to be very vulnerable with them and maybe get some old wounds off your chest that you never were able to talk to anybody about. That That is a beautiful card. Thank you, Spirit, for that. And I have a heartfelt connection. Your hearts are deeply connected. Listen to the whispers of your heart and trust the guidance it provides as it leads you to a love that is pure and true. Oh, God, my heart. A love that's pure and true. All right. Sign me up for that because that sounds like about what I want. And and I want to feel that heartfelt connection. I want to feel I want to feel you in my heart. And that's not a lot to ask. I want to feel that this person loves me as much as I love them. And and it's an equal mutual love. How gorgeous. And I have healing hearts again. So a lot of healing in this connection. Your love has the power to heal old wounds and bring new joy. Embrace the healing energy of your relationship and allow it to transform past pain into present happiness. How beautiful that if I can release that past pain, that past pain, um, that will propel me into this future of happiness. So I really, really um, am loving those messages. That was nice. Thank you, Spirit. Spirit, please share with me what is it that you want me to know in this connection? What is it? I love the healing energy. I love um, that. And I do believe that. I believe that the right person um, does help you with anything in your life that you need to work on and overcome because you have a true partner in life to, to, to work on those things with. And I have a knight of potions, which is my knight of cups. There's my beautiful romance. It's a hocus pocus tarot. I have uh, a king of wands, king of wands, knight of cups. Beautiful. I have a lover's card. Boy, it doesn't get any better. Ooh, I like the number. <laughs> I like the um, give me your number. It's kind of like old fashioned where you're writing it down on a piece of paper as opposed to you hand somebody your phone and you say, here, plug in your number for me. Uh, but I like it. I like it. I like the give me your number. You know, somebody asks for your number, this this feeling of I'm going to give you a call. Um when can I call you? What's, when are you available? And I have a 10 of swords. So I am ending something for this new beginning. I'm letting something go. And I even like this feeling of the, the um, I feel like I'm pushing that energy out into the universe, aren't I? You know, like I'm just kind of saying, you know what, I'm letting it go. I'm pushing it away. So I do feel that these cards are great. I love I love this this particular deck. So here we go with this Knight of Cups, King of, of Wands, a lover's card. I mean, really, you know, just sign me up because it is it is this gorgeous energy of I I'm definitely um, into you. I'm going to say it that way. The skeleton man. Um, I'm definitely into you and give me your number, you know, give me your number. And, you know, going back to the online dating thing, you know, is somebody want to meet you, you know, meet in a public place, you know, just set up a date, go have a cup of coffee, have a drink, something simple. But it's a, it's somebody that wants to meet you. I want to get to know you and I can't wait to um, get to know you. So Right now, I'm feeling pretty good about this connection. Let's see what else they have to say today. I have a magician. Oh, look at her. She's awesome. So just this feeling of, um, I like the book being open, but how it's coming into me is um, a little bit of you've cast a spell on me, you know, like you've taken over my mind. Um, I can't get my mind off of you energy. Uh, so um and, you know, so there's a little bit of a, you know, there's something about you um, going on here for me right now, because I think you've captured their attention. 
And it's a little bit of like, what have you done to me? Uh, so that's kind of fun. That's exciting. Um, I have a five of lightning, five of swords. Um, this is a balancing act to me. It's coming into me as it, it's just a constant balancing act between is this person real? Is this person playing games with me? Um, or is their intention, you know, just to have a hookup? Is this person's intention just to have, you know, quick affair? So it's a constant balancing act. But I do feel like, you know, you're an adult, you know, when people are, are being um, fair to you or honest. And, and if you get those red flags, you just say, you know what, I'm not doing this. I have a higher fan. Trust, trust your, trust your own belief system. I love this feeling of it's almost like a map, and I feel like it's already mapped out for you. And we're just gonna go find this prize, okay? We're gonna take this path, and maybe we'll go in a couple of circles, <laughs> but we're gonna find this hidden gem. It's like I'm going on a treasure hunt. So um, this higher fan is the answer. You know, this, your spiritual path is your answer to finding what it is that you want. And bottom of the deck, I have an ace an ace of cups and look at this big eye jumping out at me i have my eye on you <laughs> i can't take my eyes off of you um you know all of those feelings it, it's sometimes you just get that eye contact that happens with the perfect person and um and you know and you know that the way they're looking at you they're into you and you're into them and it's just so much fun spirit can i have some love messages please if this hasn't come into your life, please use this to manifest the love that you are worthy of. If this has come into your life, start to claim it, own it. It's yours. Let's see what we have for messages. I never believed in love at first sight until I looked deep into your beautiful eyes. Absolutely. Absolutely. 100%. There's my, there's my, I'm looking into your eyes. I just said that you're, I can't take my eyes off of you. I still cannot, cannot believe that out of everyone you want me, I was not ready for this type of connection. You could be with anybody. You, there's a lot of people spirit shared with me that are attracted to you. So you could be with anybody. So this person's probably going to be very grateful that you're with them because uh, they see you as a catch. They see you as somebody they really want to be with, which is really important. Um, I just want to I just want to be in union just as bad as you do. But timing is key and we need to be patient. And that goes back to that first card that we had where your person may be finishing up part of their journey or part of their path and they're not quite ready for you. Um, so that's where the patience is coming. You could be ready to be all in, um, but your person, we need to allow that person to uh, finish up business. And, and we won't know that until we meet them and and we compare timelines and we compare what they've been going through. And then we'll understand that, yeah, they weren't ready for you. They had to get through a divorce. They had to do some healing. They had to rebuild their life some way. Um, I'm planning a big surprise for you. Get ready to expect the unexpected. <laughs> I want a big surprise spirit. Raise your hand if you want a big surprise. I also like the get ready, get uh, ready to be on it, you know, get Get ready to expect the unexpected. Um, you know, a little bit of a, you won't believe it. You won't believe what spirit has for you energy. How gorgeous. Uh, we're going to put this out into the universe. I want to thank spirit for these messages today. If you're new to my channel, please remember to hit that like, hit that subscribe button. Thank you always for your kind words and your comments. If anyone would like to book a private reading, with me, please check out your website, my website at kathymamelinpsychicmedium.com.